Today we will narrate the story of Rebecca, found in the book of Genesis chapter 24. May the word of God reach our hearts as a source of inspiration for our lives. In the stillness of the days that followed Sarah's departure, the shadow of loneliness loomed over Abraham. An emptiness settled in his heart, yet the flame of responsibility still burned. He understood that Isaac, his beloved son, deserved a companion, someone to share the winding path of life. Thus, Abraham summoned his most loyal servant, a man who had known the most intimate corners of his home, for a mission of great importance. The task was as delicate as it was essential, to find a wife for Isaac. The elder, with wise and tired eyes, instructed him with a clear purpose. Return to my homeland where the roots of my lineage plunge deep into the earth. But my friend, swear to me that you will not choose a wife among the daughters of this land. Let her be from the depths of my own lineage, a relative who shares the thread of blood that runs in our veins. The servant, an upright man, pondered the responsibility entrusted to him. The prospect of finding a woman willing to leave her home and journey to unfamiliar lands was fraught with uncertainty. And what if I find a woman, but she clings to the land of her birth? What if the idea of leaving everything behind is too overwhelming? Perhaps it would be wiser to bring Isaac to her, so they can marry amid familiar surroundings. However, Abraham, steadfast in his decision, nodded his head with determination. No, my friend, Isaac shall not return to those lands. The Lord will send his messenger ahead of you, preparing the way. But if by chance the woman is not willing to leave her home, you shall be released from this oath. So be it. With these words, the mission was sealed, and the servant set out, hoping to find not only a wife for Isaac, but a woman destined to become a fundamental part of Abraham's family saga. In the details of this journey, interwoven plots awaited to unfold, guided by the invisible hands of destiny. The sun dipped the horizon in the golden hue of a day's end, when the servant, weary from his long journey, spotted the village where Abraham's roots intertwined with the ancestral soil. His eyes, eager for a divine answer, found solace in the sight of a well on the outskirts of the town. In the twilight by the well, he raised his prayers to the Almighty. O oh God, guide me in this quest for the woman destined for Isaac. It was then, illuminated by a sudden inspiration, that he formulated a peculiar test in his mind, a sign that would reveal to him the chosen one among all the women in that place. Lord, I will ask a woman for a sip of water, if she not only gives me a drink, but also offers to quench the thirst of my ten camels, I will know she is the chosen one destined for Isaac. Destiny began weaving its invisible threads when, as if choreographed by celestial hands, a young woman named Rebecca approached the well. Her beauty was complemented by a virtue that radiated like moonlight, and her story was not yet entwined with the bonds of matrimony. Rebecca, skillfully balancing a water jar, was heading away when the servant, moved by a certainty transcending human understanding, gathered courage. He approached the young woman and asked for a simple sip of water. To his joy and astonishment, Rebecca not only fulfilled the request, but promptly offered to quench the thirst of the camels. While she tended to the animals with generosity, the servant, with his heart lifted in silent prayer, sought in that divine gesture the confirmation that he had found the woman destined for Isaac. In the details of this providential encounter, the plot of the journey took on contours of joy, and the future of a family unfolded in the simple and meaningful gestures by the well. After Rebecca finished quenching the camel's thirst, the servant, overflowing with gratitude, bestowed upon her dazzling jewels that shone like stars in the darkness. Curious, he inquired, Who are your relatives? Is there space in your father's house for me and my men to spend the night? With words filled with affection, Rebecca revealed the names of her father and grandfather, and the servant, with a nod from destiny, recognized them as relatives of Abraham. Surrounded by the aura of dusk, Rebecca assured the servant that there was ample space to accommodate them in her paternal abode. She bid farewell to the man of faith and ran, like an eager butterfly, 
toward the warmth of her home to share the news with her family. In a home filled with expectations, Laban, her brother, was stirred by curiosity upon seeing the jewels adorning Rebecca's radiant figure. Intrigued, Laban hurried toward the well, eager to discover the identity of the generous benefactor. With a friendly smile, he addressed the servant warmly. Come, we have prepared a place for you, your servants, and even your camels. Welcome under our roof. In that welcoming home, the servant was invited to sit and share a hearty meal. However, before savoring the generosity of the table, he felt the duty to share his thrilling journey. With bright eyes, he expressed, Before we satisfy our hunger, allow me to tell you my story. The servant narrated eloquently the mission entrusted by Abraham, the quest for the ideal bride for Isaac. He described with vivid details his fervent prayer to God, asking for a clear sign. I asked that the woman chosen by God be willing to offer me a little water and furthermore provide water for all the camels. And believe me, Rebecca did exactly that. I am convinced she is the woman destined by God to be Isaac's wife. Laban and his father, wrapped in astonishment, absorbed every word of the extraordinary narrative. They unanimously agreed and, touched by the hand of Providence, gave their warm blessing. The next morning, eager, they approached Rebekah with the crucial question. Was she willing to follow the servant of Abraham and join her destiny with Isaac's? With a radiant smile and a courageous heart, Rebekah affirmed her readiness. Blessed by her family, she departed alongside the servant, heading towards a future filled with promises and mysteries. While Isaac roamed the fields, he glimpsed in the distance the caravan of camels led by the servant. His heart quickened, and he began a determined walk toward it. Rebecca, sensing someone's arrival, questioned the servant with curiosity. Who is that man? The servant, with a joyful smile, replied, Oh, that's my master, Isaac. Upon hearing this, Rebecca, with a touch of excitement and respect, covered herself with a veil. As they approached, the servant shared with Isaac the entire journey, how God led him to the perfect woman. Isaac's eyes gleamed, recognizing the divine grace in that encounter. In a gesture of deep affection, Isaac took Rebecca as his wife, sealing their destinies with a love promising to grow each day. United by sacred bonds, Isaac and Rebecca embarked together on the journey of life, where the chapters of their love would be written with pages of joy, challenges, and an eternal promise. This is the first part of a four-part series where we will tell the biblical story of Isaac and his family. Stay with us not to miss the upcoming chapters of this crucial tale for all of us. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, click the subscribe button and become part of our community. Don't forget to comment, like, and click on the notification bell. Your presence and engagement here mean a lot to us. And if you missed the previous episodes, we have a complete playlist with all the videos in chronological order. Today I want to share a verse from the book of Genesis, chapter 24, verse 60. And they blessed Rebekah, saying to her, May you, our sister, become thousands of myriads, and may your offspring possess the gates of those who hate them. May the presence of God be a constant in your life, bringing blessings, joy, and love. God bless you.